beauty and trolling. One Piece chapter 742, y'all. Now, for those who don't know, who've never watched my videos, um, especially One Piece, I tell them, um, it's like this. I don't do One Piece reviews for a multitude of reasons. I have not given those reasons out in any video. I may eventually one day give the reasons as to why I don't do One Piece review. There are at least five, if not more, um, reasons. But that doesn't matter. When there are chapters like 742, I have to review. Now, I'm only easy back from a, a week or so break. This chapter, man. So I'm thinking, as I'm reading this, this like you know, uh, during the morning of, I guess at this time would be yesterday, right? I'm reading this. You know, the chapter comes out on Wednesday, and I'm reading. And I'm, you know, the predominant amount of chapter deals with Kairos's flashback. So I'm like, all right, you know, I'm going to talk about Kairos's love story. But not too much, too much other stuff happened. Too much other important stuff happened for me not to, you know, weigh in. Not only get my thoughts, but just simply have a discussion with the people. And so we are here. We are doing this. We are in deep, going on full 1,100%. What? So, anyways, <laughs> all straight militant machine guns now. Tommy Gun. This chapter is split into five parts. First off, it's Kairos' love story slash flashback. Second part, it's Toy Soldier Song, Toy Soldier, um, with Luffy and Viola, or Viola, and they're deciding to, uh, on their plan of operation. Number three. It's a brief uh, bit in the Coliseum that kind of, kind of ties in a little bit to Kairos' flashback. Number four, it's a, like, a pan, like about three panels dealing with Frankie, if that, um, and at the Toy House. And number five, it's the Usopp Trevor Sugar Underground situation. <laughs> AKA the end. Now, this Kairos is love story, man. Let me tell you, I was getting a bit emotional, okay? It was beautiful. It truly was beautiful. Older, man. Older. Now, I'm not a much of a romantic kind of guy. I, I do like the romance, you know, dealing with the lady, whatever. Girlfriend, all that jazz, right? But I'm not one to really push the romance. Not all the Valentine's Day kind of guy, none of that jazz. But I do love romantic fiction, both in a sense, in a sense of romance as we have in One Piece, where you know the adventure, all that kind of jazz, you know, that kind of romance, and also the romantic bit when you see the love stories in that. And this love story, now while I've read quite a few love stories, not not all. Ex, not an expert by any means. This love story is quite unique, or you know, watch. This love story is quite unique. Let's begin with it's it's nine years, almost ten years past. Well, it's nine years. He completed nine years of three thousand fights, and in his final fight, in which he took the scar or uh, took the mark, uh, was from King was Ricky, who we know as King Riku, and he even states that he's like, if I would have known, and, and Riku's like, no, 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 no. Then you wouldn't have went all out. You would you took that. You would have taken that out. Three thousand fights, nine years. And this dude's built. Kairos is straight up built. Another. Hey, let, let me hold off on my, my thoughts as as I've said in another. Oh, let me hold off on that. So Kairos, he um, it's nine years, and you know the people of Dressrosa, especially because of the cor corridor. Coliseum, they've fallen in love with him, and, and Riku talks about learning a lesson from Kairos because of one of his needs, I'm guessing he's talking about when he was before the grave, so, um, so yeah, Kairos is definitely more powerful than uh, Riku, which is nice to see, which is nice to know, um, 
Then we see a year later, it's 10 years, right? And Kairos is 25, which makes sense. He, uh, he's the captain of the guard, if I'm not mistaken. All dressed for the swirl guard, and he's coming down. And people, Kairos, I do he's a lady killer. <laughs> uh, the lady loving him. But, uh, you get Scarlet, she's 16. We also see Viola, aka Viola. She is 10 years old. So it's interesting. So we have Kairos, you know, he's just trying to do his job. And Scarlet's like, oh, I won't forget who you are. I know who you truly are. You're a murderer. You're blah, blah, blah. You know, it's for, it, sometimes it takes forever for some people to live down who you are. It's like you almost got to, sometimes you got to, like, leave your area. And it, 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 let me not get into that too much. But, yeah, old foolishness. She doesn't know the cat. You know, he's like, yo, yo. You know, I ain't really, you know, I'm not who you think I am. She's like, you know, sister, you know. So, I guess Riku has adopted him. Uh, Kairos' son is like, yo, you know, I don't know why you're freaking out. And she's like, you know, you never touch me, you know, get away from me, but I'm part of your ego. He's like, doesn't matter. You're your daughter. and saying all that, all that nonsense. Anyways, so we flash forward to a scene where apparently... Uh, Scarlet is uh, kidnapped, and who comes to save her? Because all the rest of the guard is killed. That that's what uh, the people say on the shore. Kairos comes in there, saves the day. He wrecks the pirates that kidnapped. Her. And from that point on, because he loves and raised savior, Scarlet begins to fall in love with this guy, and, and he says, "I'm sorry, I didn't even want to touch you." Because he respects, he's a gentleman, and you see the emotions of this guy. I really like this guy. I really, I really do like Kairos. Kairos, Kairos is a G. He's an OG. He's a triple OG. Okay, triple, a double OG. We'll, we'll stop at double. He ain't triple level yet. He ain't triple level yet. But anyways, so Kairos, uh, you know, he, he really does care for Scarlet. Scarlet falls on, and she's always trying to be by this guy. Even in the ranch, she, she umbrella, she's trying to sit by this guy. And, you know, um, so yeah, they get married, and kind of in secret, and Rika's like, you no longer can be part of the royal family, <laughs> it's like, yeah, uh, but he, he says, you know, Kairos, yeah, if it was anybody else, I'd have a problem, but since it's you, bro, since you my dog, my, my son, my, my dude, you can have the hand of my dog, and they go off and live a quiet life, um, and, the flower field, not the flower fields, but somewhere in the countryside dress rooms. Okay, so it leads. This is what it leads. It leads, which I had hinted at people. If you if you watch my previous review, you know what I'm talking about. I had hinted at Viola being the one. She's the one. Kairos is not royal family. He's not Riku family blood. I'm just saying though. So Kairos takes Scarlet, and you know they have Rebecca, and Rebecca looks. Well, she does have fair hair, but she she looks a bit well. She is a baby, but anyways, and and you know, Scarlet's all happy. Hey, is your father touching? You know, go back and all that. He's like, I don't want to touch her. I don't want to spoil you know, my my soul, sully her with my dirty hands and all that jazz. And, <laughs> and he eventually touches her. She's like, no, no. And he uses gloves to touch her. So it's 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 interesting the, the relationship. Uh, Kyle says, and he's saying, I'll always be by your side. So, this might hurt my, my, my view of, and I use my theory. Kairos is the best possible option. Future straw hat. It all the signs. Now, this is a hermit, but eh, not necessarily. I mean, that's a little maybe throw off, but just throw us off the trail, or they might be doing it. But, it, you know, of course, you always, you know, protect. Um, Rebecca. Now we flash forward when Doflamingo comes in there, and then we got Kairos coming up, and he's like, "What the hell? I don't happen." So he's like, he go tells he tells Scarlet and to go take Rebecca and go hide out in the flower fields, the red flower fields as they call them. And then he goes to the palace, and Riku Riku shine. Riku's been beat up, man. and Doflamingo's there. We see uh, Buffalo is prominent in this kid. We see other ones, but Buffalo is prominent. We see a little bit of sugar. And Dolphin was talking mad smack, yo. Mad smack, right? And he's like, yeah, man, all this jazz. And they apparently chained him up with Kairos, aka C-Stone um, chains. 
He's like, yeah, why you got me chained up in these seats? I'm not a devil fruit. Who's this? So apparently he knows about devil fruit. It's cool to know. Anyways, uh, and, and they talking to Mass Mac saying, we going to kill your, your wife and, you know, both men said, we going to kill you. I done sent somebody to kill your wife and, and child pretty much. And he said, cuts off his own leg. So that's how he goes one leg. Very nice. So one leg, so slow. Uh, you know, he goes in there, he's about to strike Doflamingo. Sugar comes in there, bam. But apparently, you know, even though he's toy soldier, he gets the hell up out of there and carries Riku out of there. It's like, how? This dude's, it makes so sense. I thought Doflamingo and him was that. Apparently he was he just that much of a G. He gets him out of there. Or Doflamingo just didn't care. Um, cause scapegoat. And so, you know, as Toy Soldier and, and people have forgotten me because like, I'm sorry, Toy Soldier, I forgot I don't know you, I don't know your name. And so this is like this is coming full circle with people, you know, not remembering him. This is crazy. And then so he goes and he goes and Scarlet shot. So that's what happened. You know, we know about Rebecca with Rebecca. So she called Charlotte shot. He's like, why aren't you listening? Why aren't you good? But you forgot him, okay? She's like, I don't know, you know, I don't know your name. I'm sorry, I don't know Carlos. And yo, man, this was rough. This was rough. This was the emotion. I almost teared up. I, I, I almost teared up. I almost cried. Yo. No lie, no lie. Mainly tears, mainly tears, of course. Anyways, who we see? Diamante. Diamante with a damn musket. With a musket. That's called a cold blood, man. With a musket. We see Toy Soldier has a musket as well. So so that's pretty much the end of the flashback. And now we're in part two. And and I think Viola says something. Luffy's like, hey yo, 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 what's good, bro? What, 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 what your mind at? He's like, he ain't say nothing, but he's like, you know, uh, I think Viola talks about uh Gladius and, and some troops are coming in you know? so here's the thing for those who don't understand this means that the reason Kairos is there is to make sure Luffy and Dolphin will have one more he, look man he's not Kairos is not powerful enough to help take one Dolphin that's just what it is Don Quixote Dolphamingo Heavenly Demon Don Quixote Dolphamingo aka Junko too powerful too powerful but uh also, like I said, um, you know, Buffalo, like, like, what prestige does Buffalo really have? Like, I'm just, just throwing that out there. But anyways, because he's the one that said they got to win on that job. Um, well, Toy Soldier and King Luke got it. Now, to, to the third part, it was Coliseum. We see, we get an underground view, and some soldiers are like, yo, yo, they doing too much. Yo, yo. As birds, you know, birds, birds got quick with them elbows, bro. The elbows keep flying. You know, we, he, he getting too wrong. It's too wrong. It's cause he can it. And we just see him. And he just, you know, I told him, people over, you know, over hyping Sabo and all this Sabo. Look, man. This is Hedgehog versus First Division Commander of the Black Beard Pirates. Now, Luffy's taking him. I don't know about Sabo. Now, I will throw on my theory in a second. But let me say that. Sabo, I mean, Burgess ain't even you know, where he's throwing. Just, just getting started, getting warm up, flexing. So, is this tournament actually going to finish? If Burgess messes up the guy, I mean, the ring is almost destroyed. Okay? So, we'll see what happens. Yeah. Sabo, Sabo, but Sabo says this is funny. That's all right. That's right. That's right. Anyways. <laughs> anyway, he still got under the sky, so that's that's good to know. Good to know. We got the glasses on. Um, our theory still possibly that. Still possibly that. But um this you know, I had uh, I was talking this past week and I in the past week or so, I I forget. Anyways. And I had mentioned I'm like, yo, wouldn't this be one of the great like plot twists? If Oda ends up, if dog, no, think about this, this would be major, major in the story of One Piece. Burgess ends up with the Mare Marinomi. Oh, don't tell me. 
Yo, man, Blackbeard's crew. Cause I've talked like right now, Blackbeard has the weakest Yonko crew. Besides Blackbeard, too. come on, man, let's get rid of. Yo, that bumps up Blackbeard's crew. That bumps up Blackbeard's crew, mad majorly. A guy like Burgess with the Mara Mara Nomi? He's already powerful. You know, he's not no top 20, mate. probably not even top 20. But Burgess gets some Mara Mara Nomi. Blackbeard just look. Man, oh man. Oh man. I mean, let me just, I'll just leave y'all with that. And so we move on to part four. Yeah, well, I've been telling people that they don't want to listen to me. They don't want to listen to me, you know. They think we want to be stupid. One day, apparently, don't know what he's talking about. Blah blah blah. I have continually stated that Tony Tony Chop. We talking about a death match all out. Tony Tony Chop is the post times is the fourth most powerful straw hat, and close behind him is a uh, cyborg Frankie. Frankie, yeah. People always want, you got people talking about the technology. Oh, he's a robot. Oh, he's a pacif like pacifist. Like pacifists are. Uh, all that special new world. Come on, man. Y'all saw what Luffy, Joel, and Sanji did to the pacifistas. But these are human pacifists. Oh, he's always got the radical beam. Oh, he's got the, the rockets. Oh, he has the air cannons, the coup events, and all that. Fuck what happened. Frankie got, Frankie got stuck on. He got his behind toe up. That's what happened. I which I'm not so but Look, and does it look like Senior Pink? Does it look like he took American damage? No. Mark Beast does it? No. We don't even know if we see the Marines run. We don't even know if Vice Admiral Bastille even stepped in. How is Frankie by, uh, Vice Admiral strength? That's what Sanji is currently. Frankie, let's keep it real. Frankie upgraded, but Frankie has no match. Frankie's done. He's done. He's like, he's kind of on Usa or Usa line. I try to tell people, people need to understand power levels. And you're the please, don't tell me, oh, it's because the Marines get, come on, man. I, I mean, here's the proof that old is given to y'all. I'm just saying, though, I'm just saying. Now, it does not concretely say that Chopper's more powerful, but I'm just saying, Chopper, Chopper when he's went in on actual fights, you know, it, it was no joke. And, and the thing about Jorah, Jorah is... You know, not making excuses, but yours got a hacks ability, and we all know that. We all know that. It's, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. But so, we just leave y'all with those thoughts. Because we are entering into the final part of this chapter. <laughs> Yo, this ending was something else. So, they're underground, you know, the dwarves, the counters, like, yeah, yeah, what's up? Yeah, I'll go. You got all my toys on you know, you know, well, I don't know about you, you saw, but you know, do your thing, you straw hat, you know, yeah, that's good. You got know, kind of saying, hey man, y'all got me out of here. You know, it's almost like praying, you know, I do be praying, God, you know, if you get me up out of here, you know, I'll change my way. I'm gonna, well, in this case, Gavin is ain't praying to God, but he's saying, you know, if you, you know, thank it, if you know, get up you know, out of here, I'll drop my beef for straw hat, whatever. We know, we've been knowing he's gonna be an ally. Come on, man, come on. Oh, the sets at dang Anyways, just like Bartolomeo or Bellamy, problem, you know, allies. So, and, and it'll be interesting to see Cavendish. Because Cavendish, I think, will play a much more uh, prominent, important role as a, as time goes on, as the plot, as the story goes on, right? But when it does clear, we see Treble, he's just fine. We see Sugar right before we saw Usopp is not only is he, you know, you know, struck, you know, tied up. Usopp is messed up. He's a that class of one feet just like a mile near death. Like he's shot up. And I told people, I said, I said this in another discussion like a week or two ago, right? I was talking and I'm like, older, you know, I want can Usopp potentially put in? I don't know, man. You know, it'd be great if he did, but at the same time, I hope not. And here's the reason why. Because Travel is supposed to be uh, a super executive. He's supposed to be on the level of Vertigo, Diamante, um, Pika. 
And these are the kind of guys that uh, Luffy, Zoro, and Sanji are supposed to fix. Especially Zoro and Sanji, man. No way should Usopp be able to be Trevor. Let's be real. Let's get real. And lo and behold, Usopp got this behind smack. Because, see, here's the thing. Here's the difference between what Oda does, each or Oda, and what somebody like uh, Kishimoto does or Hiro Mashima does. Oda actually keeps power levels intact. Okay? His power levels make sense. And Usopp, he ain't on that level. He's not on that level. You know, this was pretty much character development. Everybody has been complaining about Usopp. It's about character development. Okay, that's all this was. But at least Usopp went in, but hey, he went on. But yo, the way this ended, you want to talk about a troll, man. A troll that was written beautifully? Like, cause, so Sugar, Sugar gives him the Tabasco sauce or whatever the hell my name is, right? The grape. Uh, and, and this is supposed to pour, you know, it's poison. It's supposed to kill Usopp, right? Usopp, at first I didn't know what's going on. It's like this tongue. I'm thinking, is it Soul King Brooks and possessed this dude or something? But we see this tongue, and then we see that. We see Sugar's like, oh, huh? You see Usopp the ABC, Sugar shrieks, and she's now in cause she's knocked out. So that frees everybody. So I'm like, oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> the troll, though. You talking? Oh, oh, they just trolled us. And I'm okay with it. This is a good, this is like, you know, this is a really good troll. I love this troll. Because, come on, you gotta have faith in Oda. And I was not, I didn't expect this coming. Her face, them, them faces, though. <laughs> I can't say after this one thing, Ota's troll kick, but if he just starts trolling a lot more, I wouldn't mind if he doesn't like this. Oh my goodness, this troll, man. <laughs> it was hilarious. Come on. You can't tell me that wasn't funny. That was hilarious. Now we got this subplot going through. Oh my goodness. We got two subplots done, you know, the whole Frankie situation, Usopp situation done, which a lot of people apparently don't like. I didn't mind it, and at certain parts it was be it was well done and well executed. So now oh, it's slowing up the part. Y'all need to get y'all hype behind y'all action horse ways. Please stop. Just just stop I don't here. But uh yeah man. The main parts of this chapter are obviously, you know, and probably too honest, but you know, Carlos's love story was and fifth girls. And I'm still holding it. Next straw hat. Come on. Come on. He has everything. You need this. You can bat neck and you need a power pool. And then Beautiful day, beautiful night, peace.